afternoon. Today is a Thursday and I'm in a bit of a sucky mood because I, the shop is dead and it's not doing very well financially in the last two weeks. So Andrew has come in to help me sort out the shop to refresh the stock and help it get sold. And one way we're gonna do that is by finally sorting out the pile of the ever-growing pile of comic books by final graphic novels by organizing them into publishers so graphic novels there are going to be marvel graphic novels there are going to be dc not quite sure where we're going to put indie because we didn't realize how much there was we thought oh there'll only be a little bit all that is indie so far Ugh. my good deed for the day one of my friends have found my etsy page and they've bought this to support me so I'm sending them this as a thank you. I'm sorry today was such a short vlog. I uh, I was kind of beside myself getting everything ready because uh, basically I don't know if I've touched on this yet on my vlogs. I've mentioned it in detail on my Patreon account but the shop isn't doing very well. I mean I do kind of say the shop's been rubbish but like I mean like hundreds of pounds below target for the last two weeks so really bad so I had to start really thinking about what I could do to bring money in I was realizing the shop was kind of in a dire state if I'm honest it needs some elbow grease and hand-on action to get the shop looking nice needs to stop processing and one of the biggest things like I pointed out there we have so many graphic novels that we've kind of just started throwing them in places they fit and then it, we just realized it was becoming just it's an incoherent mess and we have been busy making sale boxes and we wanted to get everything ready for MCM because one I'm going to be busy at MCM I'm going to be at MCM but there obviously is a lot of potential even though everyone's in the Albert docks that there is going to be a lot of geeky people in Liverpool so why not make it ap appealing for them to come and visit us so that's what we've been massively trying to do. I actually thought I vlogged a lot more than I did that day. I obviously didn't. I'm rubbish. I suck. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, that was just kind of my day and I got far too busy uh, focusing on that. And then I went home and I carried on just doing stuff. Pricing Pokemon cards, pricing comic books, making jewellery, thinking of things that will help the shop. So there you go <laughs> uh but yeah thank you so much for watching even the incredibly short vlogs none of them are ever that epically long actually that's a really interesting question do you like my short vlogs or do you like them longer because i know on average they say that youtube videos should be around about 10 minutes because the retention um time is that the right word but the longer you watch the more the algorithms are work in your favor and then after 10 minutes it's kind of like the magic number apparently which is why let's plays do so well for youtube to start sharing your stuff so shorter vlogs are actually not in my favor to get shared about or seen but at the same time i don't want to overburden everyone with minutes and minutes worth of me rambling or doing stuff because i just honestly don't think you would care that much but like a couple of minutes is like oh i'll check out what she's doing there you go so that is something i'm genuinely interested about would you like to see more of my life even if it is the more boring and mundane parts of my life that i do every day just purely for the fact because it's me or it's how i run my businesses etc etc please let me know or do you like the fact it's short and sweet i genuinely really want to know please comment below and don't forget to like the video because even though it's short it still really helps out my video with algorithms and stuff so can't do that wish i could <laughs> and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye